Rick said the other night, talking about for y'all to keep getting better, you just got to focus on day in and day out. You've been through this. How hard in the months of January and February is it to just be locked in day after day? Uh, I was listening to Coach earlier. Uh, it's definitely harder this month. Uh, basically, I think one of the biggest things is that you get used to off the break, not having people, not having class, and pretty much spend the whole day for basketball. And now, uh, like days change, you got to be uh, with a lot of more people during the day. Uh, you have class that you got to wake up for in the morning. Uh, so it's def definitely a little more challenging uh, coming to this month, having class and everything. So, uh, but uh, it's definitely doable. So just got to put your uh, energy and focus on the things that you need to do and all the other ones, just leave them aside. You like where this team is ending February, the way you guys have played the last couple weeks? Uh, I like what this team has been the whole year, to be honest. Uh, the ups and downs, I uh, couldn't ask for a better uh, group of people and players. Uh, and we all running this way together, so I just love all of them. Sandy, what's it been like playing alongside Zakai this last month and watching the way he's grown at point guard? Uh, it's been great. Uh, we never doubted Z. Uh, I think he has a great potential. Uh, he's showing it now. And even when he wasn't scoring the way he's scoring right now, uh, passing the ball and everything, I think he was still, like Coach said, impacting the game. And uh, you always know that at least uh, Z can make the ball or miss it, but you can always uh, get all his effort uh, every single time on the court. So that's at least everything you can ask for out of a guy. How do you get Olivier to, to keep playing the way that, that he played the other day? Uh, just uh, keeping him focused. Uh, I mean, he's mature enough now. Uh, he knows how to do it himself. Uh, and uh, that's why I got to be honest. Uh, just keep encouraging him, take his shots, uh, keep telling him to stay focused on D and uh, rebounding, and he'll do the rest. Uh, he's a great player, and that's why he's here. So he's going to take care of the rest. Do you feel like that intensity that he was bringing last week in practice and then the game Saturday, do you feel like that can carry over to the rest of the team? For sure. Uh, there's uh, moments that you can see on the team that when a guy gets it going and uh, brings that much energy, it's just contagious for the rest of the team and then everybody picks up uh, off that one person. So I think that's one of the greatest things of this team that um, literally any given night, anybody can have a night. So uh, most of the times when that happens with the player, uh, the whole rest of the team is gonna pick up to that level, so. When you're facing a team like Florida that has a solid post player in Colin Castleton, how much emphasis do you as a guard on denying entry passes? Well, uh, we haven't worked yet uh, so much in Florida, uh, but uh, I definitely can see that they're a team that play through a big man, uh, like Costleton. Uh, he's a good player too, so uh, we're gonna pretty much guard him like we guard any other team with a good uh, post player. We've done it in the past, and yeah, we're probably gonna give it a little more emphasis to the post player. What areas have you seen BJ improve since the start of the season to now? Uh, uh, to be honest, I love BJ. I think uh, his attitude and the way he carries himself every practice is great. Uh, you don't ever see him with a bad face or anything, uh, even if it's uh, he does something wrong. Coach uh, tells him not to do it or whatever. Uh, you can see him always with a positive attitude. He's going to come back and try to do it even better every time. So I think he just carries himself uh, great. And he also has a lot of potential. So I think he's developed uh, great. and. Uh, he's been great around all of us. Obviously, it's a different situation for Freddie, but do you give him any advice on just joining a team in the middle of the season and integrating into college like that? Well, uh, Freddie's case is a little different than BJ. Uh, he just joined. We're kind of halfway through the season. Your case, when you joined. Yeah, season. but that was also different because I played right away. But uh, still, uh, I love it for Freddie that he has the opportunity to do it, uh, get himself ready for uh, next season. He also has a lot of potential, how we can sit in practice. And yeah, like you can still see there's some still high school um, stuff that he does on the court, but that's usual with everybody. We all went through that uh, once we got to college. Uh, but that's why I'm glad that he has to experience this time now with us and more mature players that we've been around a little more uh, so he can like get ready and ex know what to expect uh, for next year. Zakai Ziegler and Olivia Kama kind of took over the game offensively on Saturday. How much has that happened in practice before where those two are just on the same page when they're running the pick and roll and such? Uh, it does happen a lot. Uh, like I said earlier, 
Uh, any guy can have a night on any given day, uh, so that's why we're not really worried about it. Uh, when they could be alleviated, Zakai, Josiah, Tyreek, Uroj. Like, we just have a lot of players that uh, can go off. And, like, it was our night. They were doing a great job, so uh, we're just glad that they got to do that and the whole team played great off that. Feel anything in your shoulder? Or is it back to normal? You feel like 100%? Uh, it feels fine now. Uh, it's kind of recovering. Sometimes, like in a special movement that I do, if I try to reach for a ball or something, it might hurt a little bit, but then it just goes away. So it's kind of back to healthy now. Everybody good? Thanks, 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 Thanks